All right. It's raining outside. Typical uh, monsoon rain. Okay. So, now in this particular video, I'm going to give you a brief uh, overview of a software which handle git operation inside Emacs which is called Magit. Uh, for your reference once you see this brief introduction to this particular software called Magit in this video you can go back in the channel and you can see I have done a video how to sign your git commit with your pgp key inside magit once you see this introduction or see this particular video you can go back and search out that for that video and look into it if you are if you are curious enough so without further ado let me get into my max so Magit is a software which is basically which is a visually appealing software inside Emacs to handle Git related stuff. It has got some cool features. And if you are inclined to do some sort of Git related stuff in a in a in a fanciful way, or you can term it is easier way rather than doing it from the command line you can opt for it importantly importantly if you are sitting inside a max this will be your vehicle to interact with the git repo okay if you are if you are not using the other tool which comes along with Emacs called vc okay so this is a predominant software inside Emacs to handle git related stuff okay so without further ado let me open up a git repo which i have to get it first uh, the first thing you need to run magic status either you have to run it by hand from the mx prompt or bound a key to invoke it i have bounded a key the which is Control X G. Look at the bottom. This showing the Git repository I have in my machine. So let me invoke the Linux kernel source tree, and it will open up Control C F to get it big. So by default, if you ignore the right hand side two column which I'll show you how I get it if you if you look at the left hand side or main main stuff where my cursor is hovering you can see these are the default thing which will show you if you invoke magic status command okay so and if you have some unstaged file on this particular repository it will show up here with the unstaged heading okay so the bottom line is that you need to invoke the magic status command either manually or bound with a key okay so how do i get the right hand two side which is not by default if you haven't saved it okay don't get confused the right hand two side columns are not by default shown because i made some changes or press some keys that's why the right hand two columns are showing which is the author name and the time frame okay so how do i get it all you have to do shift l look at the bottom it's a transient command window where if you see under the margin there is a there is a capital l it says toggle visibility which is exactly what i did all i did i press l if i do it again see 
the right hand two column which is having a author name and the time has gone because I toggled it if I wanted to get it back all I have to do capital L and then press again capital L see it has come back right so nice thing now if I press capital L again now if I want to, to toggle the details as you can see from the bottom of the screen I have to press D see it took away the author's name likewise if I do capital L and press X see it will provide you the short log or status that how many lines added and how many lines deducted from a particular commit super helpful like and visually appealing too now if I do capital L and then press small L it will simply cycle the style now if I wanted to see the log all I have to do press L see it behind the scene run git graph and provide you with a ASCII related art and which will show you how the commits are connected or where it came from so it is pretty visually appealing right it's a nice way to view the commit history simply it is a git log which showing this way if you wanted to see the particular commit just point your cursor on any of the commits and press enter see look at the bottom half of the screen it open up the commit so you can have a look if you're done with it just press Q it goes away super handy right at any time if you wanted to search for the help related to this particular interface the magic interface you all you have to do you just press question mark say there is a transient window full of command and the commands are pretty self-explanatory isn't it if you are familiar with Git, which is what I'm expecting from you if you are in if you are hovering with this software so all the commands uh, have a corresponding key anytime you want to perform this kind of operation just press question mark it will bring on this particular transient window so you can you can see what are the or what is the particular keystroke you need to press to get the stuff very very convenient right you don't have to remember just press question mark on while inside magic interface it will bring up this transient window with the full of commands and the key, key which you were supposed to press to get the result okay so I'm not going to show you each and every keystroke. It is pretty self-explanatory and pretty vivid. So you can use it at your benefit if you are inside your Git repo. Okay. For some reason, I'm taking an easy route. Uh, if you want to, to pull something, okay, uh, you can do capital F and see it will bring I press capital F it will bring yet another window full of commands we call it a transient window to make you explicit from where you want it okay or what you want it you can see from the bottom section of the screen for this demonstration purpose 
I can simply press I wanted to pull it from the origin master okay you could do other stuff as you can see which is enlisted here you can rebase you can fast forward okay or you can you could get it from elsewhere and you can configure it also so in this case I'm going going to take a easy route just pressing U and you can see bottom of the screen it's saying running git pull okay and it says it's done and it's finished because why it is not showing anything because few minutes back I, I did my update which includes git pulling so nothing new to be pulled so that's why it's not open up a frame or buffer if I haven't done so and I press U it will open up a buffer and show me the content what it pulled down as simple as that okay very convenient and very easy to do it's 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 a very good way to induct your git stuff if you are sitting inside a max and frequently hopping in your git repo do a lot of workflow involved regarding git repository this is a bloody good software which will assist you or help you to get along in a much quicker and smoother way one of the prime benefit probably to you don't have to uh, trace too much into your brain to know which command you need to press or which command you are supposed to invoke okay if you are not super convenient enough ab about git then then this might come a little more handy to you and don't get it different way I mean to say so your your learning curve is upward so you know what you are doing so it makes things easier to get things done instead of doing it by hand okay so I thought to bring it up I could have show you a lot more stuff um, but I am clearly differing or refraining just to do so to clobber your head okay so I press H it bring up a help okay and if I do control Q and it will body the buffer the help buffer so all I was trying to say so magic is a good interface to git if you are sitting inside a max go give it a shot and discover it and find it out whatever the way if it can elevate your workflow smoothness okay you might find it useful to your workflow or day-to-day -day operation or you might find it cumbersome okay so it's it will be a it will be a good thing if you if you if you give it a shot so exploring is a a kind of inertia exploring is a kind of uh, thing we generally do curious people generally do so i hope it will bring some sort of or chance or so, some sort of interest on you people if you haven't already discovered it or use it okay so I have absolutely do it very little in this video just to get you up and going that is the purpose of this particular video nothing else so that's why I keep my demonstration very little okay so I hope it will be useful to some people. Thanks for watching.